In this segment, we will cover how to create pop-out decals. This is where the cutter contours around a design, but will cut completely through the vinyl and the backing, leaving little tags along the way so the decals stay in place as they are being cut out. If you are unfamiliar with the print and cut process, we suggest that you review the video segment Print and Cut Basics. Also, you should have a good working knowledge of Adobe Illustrator and or Corel Draw. Here is a design where we have already created two cut lines. The inside line or path will be used for cutting only through the vinyl or kiss cutting, whereas the outside line or path will be used for cutting completely through the backing or die cutting. In order to make this work, we will have to create a layer for each cut line and place the cut lines on their own layers. So in the layers palette, let's name layer one to print. This will be where everything that is to be printed will be placed, this usually being the design. Next, we'll create two extra layers for our cut lines. Rename the inside line Kiss Cut and the outside line Die Cut. Now we can just place each cut line to its respective layer. This is done by dragging the dot representing the Kiss Cut line to the kiss cut layer, and do the same with the dot representing the die cut line, dragging it to the die cut layer. Just to check, we can enable and disable different layers to make sure that each object is placed on the right layer. The next step is to create the registration marks. This is done by clicking on the file pull-down menu, hovering over Cutting Master 4, and click on registration marks. First, let's click on the reset button to make sure that all the values are set to their default values. And then we can click OK. This design is ready to print, but first let's disable both cut lines so that they won't be sent to the printer as part of the design. We have extended the blade far enough so that it will reach through the backing. We have already set Condition 2's force value light enough to kiss cut and Condition 3's force value to cut completely through the backing. There are only a couple of other settings that we need to adjust within Condition 3. Whenever you plan to cut through the material, the blade holder has to be placed in the front tool holder so that it is positioned over the channel in front of the Teflon strip. This position is considered tool holder 3. The back slot is considered tool holder 1. We have to assign Condition 3 so that it uses tool holder 3. This setting lets the cutter know that if the cut job requires that tool, it will pause and allow us to shift the tool to the front position. The second setting we need to configure is to assign a cut line perforating pattern. This will cause the cut tool to perforate as it cuts, leaving little tags along the cut, which will hold our decal or decals in place as they are being cut. Let's first assign condition three to tool holder three. This is done by pressing the down arrow key to get to the next page of options, and then pressing the 2 key for Assign Tool. As you can see, currently Condition 3 is assigned to Tool 1. By pressing the 3 key, we can assign it to the Tool 3, which is in the front position, and then press Enter. Next is to make sure a cut line pattern is assigned to Condition 3. Once again, this ensures the cut line perforates as it cuts, so that the decals stay in place while cutting. This setting is on the next page of options, so let's press the up arrow key, then the three key for a cut line pattern, and then press the two key for type. We will be using pattern five. Through testing, we have found that the number five works well with our media. So press the up arrow key to set it at five. Press the escape crosscut button and we will return to the previous menu. Press enter to accept the value. Finally, press the condition test key to exit. So now the two conditions are set, let's open Cutting Master 4 Cut Plot window by clicking on the file pull-down menu, followed by Cut Plot. Next, let's click on the Layer palette. This is where we can assign conditions to individual layers. But first, we need to disable the print layer leaving the kiss cut and die cut layers to be processed. Keep in mind when having more than one layer to cut that the top layer will always cut first, followed by the other layers below it. In cases where they are not in order, 
the two arrows just to the side can reposition them. But in this case, we want to cut the kiss cut layer first, so we can keep the kiss cut layer at the top, followed by the die cut layer. Next is to assign a condition number to each cut line or layer. This is first done by enabling the Enable Driver options below. This will open up the settings below where we can assign conditions to each layer. First, we'll select the Kiss Cut layer, assign the condition 2 to that layer first, since this is the condition we set up earlier for the kiss cutting. This is done by clicking on this pull down list of conditions, and then selecting FC9000 number 2 plotter condition. Next, we can select the die cut layer and this time assign condition 3 to it by selecting the FC9000 number 3 plotter condition. We are all set, so we can send this job to the cutter, but this time we will send the job to a USB thumb drive since the cutter is in another room. We can do this by clicking Save to File, and then click OK. The USB thumb drive is already plugged into the secondary USB port, so we can start the process by pressing the pause menu key, then press the right arrow key. Next is to select the file by pressing the number 2 key, selecting the file, and then pressing enter. The cutter first asks us to use the position arrow keys to place the blade holder tip directly over the first registration mark that is located nearest to the control panel. Pressing Enter will have the cutter scan for the registration marks first. Then cut the kiss cut line. When it is finished with the kiss cut line, it will stop the cutter, at which point it will have us switch the blade holder from the back slot to the front slot. Once the tool has been placed in the front slot, press enter. It will then proceed to cut the die cut line. As it cuts through, you'll notice that since condition 3 has cut line pattern enabled, it perforates as it cuts, making an up and down movement. And here are the results.